hello guys uh, this is arun sp welcome to our uh, channel uh, it is the after effects tutorial and uh, today uh, i will show you how to rig a 3d car uh, inside after effects uh, um, take a look this is the car uh, rigged uh, in a picture i take uh, a picture from the internet uh, just to google it uh we see nice reflection on the roads uh, uh, i will show you uh, how to rig the car uh, inside after effects first of all uh, we do that uh, uh, first is switch on to 3ds max or cinema 4d let's open the cinema 4d open cinema 4d uh, then uh, import the 3d models uh, uh you can download it uh, from the description uh, so after uh, downloading uh, import it uh, in cinema 4d then um, it is like the clay model like this uh, now um, assign uh, different material uh, to the uh, different uh, materials uh, such as uh, uh, tire uh, we we assign um, rubber for the tire uh, and chrome for the chrome plate uh, uh in this uh, section so uh, so assign different materials like uh, i already um assign it um, for rubber i assign green color uh, then for chrome plate uh, i assign uh, the variant uh, green uh, like uh, this material so uh, when we uh, import it in uh, after effects uh, imported in after effects uh, the element uh, the element 3d plugin um, assigns uh, different material for uh, different uh, colors uh, assigned in cinema 4d so so if we uh, want to rig the uh, rig each part uh, uh, we should assign different color material like this we can assign by uh, this is the tire rubber tire assign their material like uh, click and drag the material to it then assign uh, for chrome this is the tire uh, i assigned this material so same material to the front tire not the back tire back tire uh, we assigned with the different material like this now um we assign pink color for the for this uh, two two chrome plates uh, um in element 3d uh, the two uh, pink color plates uh, act as a same material that is the concept so if you want to make uh, uh, make two material group of materials like group of materials uh, we should uh, apply same material now pink color to this like uh, this is the chrome section i assign different materials for uh, different uh, parts this is the glass so no blue color this material this is also glass this is also glass then
we are saying different material for the back wheel and back chrome plate because uh, we sh we want to rig the uh, front wheel uh, without uh, back wheel so um, if you assign the same material of the front wheel and uh, front wheel to the back wheel uh, when you when we turn the uh, front wheel the back wheel always uh, rotate for this purpose uh, we assign uh, different materials uh, for um, back wheels and uh, front wheels from this concept uh, we assign different materials like this that's it if you want to rig the if you want to rig the doors uh, uh, we can assign we should assign uh, different materials uh, if you don't want to um, rig the doors uh, it is optional one so then then export it file export export it uh, with the obj file obj file i already i named it as uh, 2 save scale ok it is ok let me see um, in 3ds max uh, um, Im let's uh, import the car then um, uh, as we do uh, in cinema 4d uh, it is also like this uh, um, the each color represent uh, each material uh, for uh, element 3d in 3ds max uh, type uh, m on the keyboard i already colored the materials uh, yeah. Yeah we can easily color by uh, change the color in the diffuse panel so the, these are the materials uh, i assign different materials uh, for uh, different parts uh, in the vehicle so we assign it and then export it by click export change the fbx uh, to obj exporter and uh, give um, e3d call then save uh, save make sure uh, the faces uh, are in uh, triangles then um, simply uh, export it give done okay now uh, switch on to the after effects now uh, open after effects i have the one after effects cc 2014 uh, open it uh, this is uh, i already do in the within the city now uh, open new comp create a new comp then I named as uh, comp3 um, now it's okay comp4 now custom to half hd hd tv 720p it's okay now give okay right click new solid name the solid as e3d then e3d means element 3d then uh, change the color to black it's okay now apply the effect uh, the element effect uh, from video copilot 
element now uh, click the scene setup then uh, import we going to import the layer from see in this folder then click open now this is the file we export from uh, cinema 4d now uh, we going to apply the texture for it click ok then this is the texture uh, import it to the project just import it now take into the comp it's okay now click the e3d layer then move on to custom layers this is the texture map so custom texture maps in the layer we uh, it to this texture visible switch turn off visible switch now this is the model then move on to scene setup now in the diffuse uh, click on unset then when we add the texture to the custom layer uh, the custom layer one this is the texture layer then add Q ok then we have the nice texture like this now we assign uh, different materials for this door uh, for rigging purpose now we find where is the door this is the front tire so assign black material this is the flat color so I assign it to the tires then diffuse color to black give ok now we give the tire material then for um, this material uh, this chrome material we assign um, default chrome and apply to it now it is a nice chrome material with a nice reflection then this is uh, also the tire uh, we assign this uh, flat color material from scene tab it is the tire material so apply it to this now tire is ok now this is the bumper this is the 20 default uh, diffuse color to ok now it is the uh, grey it's I assign this color uh, you assign uh, whatever you want now this is the environment to switch uh, we can uh, move the environment uh, by right clicking and drag it now this is the glass uh, so move on to preset tab then add glass material to it now it is ok then this is uh, also glass material on the rigged door so 
to the glass material and then this is the chrome plate on the front tires front wheel so move the chrome to it then this is also chrome material now it's okay now this is the right door so add the texture to it now now we have a nice car then click ok now uh, we have a car with a perfect uh, texturing now add camera to the scene so right click new add camera 35 mm uh, it's ok now click the camera we can click and drag uh, to see the car full car ok click control uh, type control s uh, to save the project ok now now uh, we going to add the background image click and drag then we fix the car um, into the ground plane like this right click and drag uh, to move the camera front or back like this uh, middle click uh, to pan in the camera then left click to rotate the object with the camera rotate the camera now uh, we are going to create some shadows uh, to this vehicle let's see create a solid right click a new uh, solid then make it shadow type shadow ok now make 3d switch on then camera angle to then in this view rotate hold down shift and uh, rotate the solid now in the top view make sure uh, shadow layer is below the e3d layer take the tool then mask it out it is the shadow for uh, casing uh, vehicle casing then go to the bottom view mac uh, mask for the four wheels this is the mask for the first wheel then press uh, control D to duplicate the mask then uh, move it to the tires or wheels move it to the wheels then duplicate it 
duplicate the mask uh, to cover the other two wheels these are the shadows uh, for the wheels then go to active view and uh, positioning the shadow layer uh, just behind the at the bottom of the wheel like uh, road road plane move the layer to bottom of the wheel to just to touch the bottom of the wheels then go to active camera view now the shadows we have a sharp shadows now uh, we have to make it soft for this purpose increase the feather in all the mass increase the feather for uh, casing um, casing should be large because uh, casing is uh, um, far away from ground but the tires are touching the ground so uh, we make it uh, after in feathering after creating uh, shadows uh, now uh, we are going to create uh, null object uh, that controls the whole e3d object let's see with the uh, background now it is like uh, the car lying on the ground then now uh, we going to animate the car to animate the vehicle um, we are going to create a world null null object uh, click world transform then click create now uh, world transform null is created uh, when we move the null anywhere uh, the e3d object always uh, moves now uh, shadows parent the shadows uh, to world 3d transform null so that um, when the world from null object moves along with the e3d object uh, the shadow always uh, moves now it's okay now animate the world transform null so that uh, the e3d object always moves so select the null click p for position click the stopwatch then after 2 seconds move the slider to 2 seconds then move the z position like this like this move some x now okay press n to end the timeline now press 0 to ram preview i assign uh, full resolution so animation takes some um, minutes to render then 
the animation starts it's okay now uh, when the animation going on uh, there is no animation uh, in the wheels now we are going to animate the wheels now go to e3d layer then go to scene setup we animate the fr front wheels uh, back wheel and uh, casing so parent the separate them into three pieces called front wheel uh, front wheels then back wheels then casing we separate uh, three groups so in the first group hide all the object objects except uh, the front wheels now we see only front wheels itself so it is um, group 1 it is in group 1 then uh, click the scene uh, click the bar then right click duplicate model now we have two models ford cop e3d uh, another ford cop e3d now um, assign it to uh, second group then okay it is the duplicate uh, first one uh, in group 1 have only front wheels visible this is the duplicate then assign back wheels to the group 2 it's okay now it contains now the group 2 contains uh, the back wheels now again duplicate this model move on to uh, assign it to group 3 it contains uh, it should contains uh, only uh, casing this is the casing um, but uh, okay uh, it it has the casing now the group 3 contains uh, casing group 2 contains a back wheel group 4 contains the door group 1 contains the front wheel we assign uh, in different groups uh, for uh, rigging in different direction for animating get uh, individually so click okay now we have that model now we are going to animate the wheels
now uh, go to scene setup uh, in the casing uh, there is uh, no glass uh, so reappear the glass glasses it's okay now we going to rotate the wheel in the first group go to particle look then move on to multiple object multi object uh, enable multi object now move on to rotation uh, x rotation animate the x rotation it is a stopping point so like uh, 15 it's okay minus minus a uh, then click the stopwatch on the x rotation then move into the first frame then zero now okay let's play animation we have the now we have the rotating wheel if we fast uh, want to fast the rotation then go to this keyframe then to minus 2 change the resolution mode to quarter uh, so that it renders fast but it is seems to be real uh, okay now when we turn on the motion blur to e3d layer we have a nice animation look realistic it is the rendering output it's okay now when we going to rotate uh, the back wheel we have a trick uh, now it is the tricky part this is the first group move on to the second group uh, that is the uh, back uh, wheels particle multi object enable multi object now rotation alt click the rotation stop watch then parent it to the first group that is first group x rotation then okay now when we play it the back wheels also rotates as the front wheel rotate now we have the nice car uh, moving animation now uh, we are going to make some animation on casing so 
click the casing then press R for rotation then click the X rotation now move on to breaking point then rotate it slightly like minus 1 now after uh, 10 frames move slightly back uh, rotate backwards so nearly point to ok now after 10 frames make 0 make it as 0 now copy the sorry select alt keyframes then press F9 or right click keep frame assistant give some ease now it's ok now let's let me play some animation it's ok rotate the camera to match the scene Now we have the nice animation. Now uh, we are going to add some uh, lights uh, to the vehicle. Um, right click, new, add lights. Then uh, light type we could do, light type uh, point. Okay. Now position the lights uh, uh, in the headlights. So change the active camera to top move the slider then positioning the lights then move on to left then go to active camera the lights are positioning uh, ok correctly then go to top view select the light layer and uh, press ctrl D to duplicate then move into move it to the left side left lights ok now parent the two lights to the world transform null world transform null now see the animation when the car moving the lights uh, also move with the vehicle then right click uh, new layer solid called optical flares I named it as optical ok then we affect video copilot optical flares go to option we have lot of lights uh, in the presets I assigned uh, this light beam uh, then click ok now we have the light 
go to source type to track lights now we have uh, two lights for the headlights um, it is very powerful so move decrease the brightness to 20 now change the transfer mode to screen now when we play the animation we have nice car the lights now uh, when the uh, when apply brakes the lights are uh, not fit into the casing so at that time go to the timeline this point go to lights press P for the position click the stopwatch then move the lights a little bit downwards to match the casing then when the casing rises little bit or click the first uh, keyframe then control C control V now it's okay the change procedure uh, apply to light one press P click the stopwatch then move on to the braking point 11.2 uh, 11.2 then this position click the first keyframe control C control V now ok now let me play the animation the animation should like this now the lights are nearly got this but um, give some ease copy all frames right click keyframe ease easy ease or uh, simply press F right click easy is now play it nice animation I think uh, it's okay now if you want to turn the car wheels car wheels right side or left side mm, change the settings like this go to e3d se e3d layer then I think uh, group 1 is the front wheels so move on to group 1 then 
when we rotate when the rotate the wheels when we turn the steering uh, we cannot get uh, correct animation the car will uh, get uh, distracted so to fix this uh, change the settings uh, based upon your model it is uh, not the same for every model uh, so tweak the settings I think it is correct uh, Y X Z um, this axis uh, is suitable for this model now change it to 0 then click the stopwatch then move like this now play the animation we can turn the uh, wheels or uh, leave it as it's ok now it's ok we can have the nice 3d core um, animation uh, inside after effects uh, using uh, element 3d plugin quarter then play it now we got a nice car uh, animated inside uh, after effects uh, let's turn on the visible switch turn off the visible switch of gray layer we have the nice background let's play the animation that's it now if you want to add some smoke uh, behind the vehicle simply let's see this is the dust wave uh, from uh, video copilot axe and essentials to um, add to the composition mm. that scale press yes to the scale then minimize it then uh, switch on the 3d switch uh, before uh, we make it just mask it out 
டேக் த சர்க்கிள் எலிப்ஸ் எலிப்ஸ் டூல் தென் டபுள் கிளிக் இட் டு மேக் த எலிப்ஸ் தென் இன்சைட் மேஸ்க் ஆட் ஃபெதர் டு த மேஸ்க் லைக் ஓகே நவ் நவ் ஃபெதர் மேஸ்க் ரெக்டாங்கிள் மேஸ்க் டு சாரி செலக்ட் த லேயர் தென் ஆட் ரெக்டாங்கிள் மேஸ்க் லைக் திஸ் தென் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் மோட் டு சப்ராக்ட் தென் கோ டு த ஃபெதர் இட்ஸ் ஓகே நவ் Now turn on the 3D switch to the dust layer. Go to top. Or uh, custom view. Move the layer just back to the கார் லேயர் லைக் திஸ் நவ் கோ டு ஆக்டிவ் கேமரா தென் மூவ் த ஸ்மோக் லைக் திஸ் தென் மூவ் த லேயர் பிலோ த இ த்ரீ டி லேயர் நவ் ஐ திங்க் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு ஓகே Going to okay. Now, parent the dust wave uh, to world transform null. Now, okay. Now, let me play the animation. If you think that uh, the smoke is uh, very dark, uh, now, click the dust layer, then press T then bring down the opacity to 50 now press to quarter let's play the animation we have the nice blending animation with the smoke it's okay now change the rest to full then see it wait for some minutes uh, to render now uh, it's okay That's it. Now we have the wonderful animation. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Arun SV. Never forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you.